get ready with me for brunch. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm not really gonna fill in my brows. Like I'm just gonna. Okay, Minnie. I'm just gonna leave them like this, just cause it's brunch, and I don't wanna, you know, do a lot, cause the important part is the food. This is the Pete Louise Basin Five, so I'm just gonna clean up my brows a little bit, but because I'm using a lighter color, I'm probably just gonna stay at the curve to the end. Yeah, I feel like my dress down or makeup down is not compatible to where I live. And I don't feel like getting stared at. So. <laughs> Even though I feel like regardless, it will happen. But. So I'm going to try to like tone down my basic to fit the vibe. Oh, but I want to look, you know when you, when you go out and you don't go out a lot, you be wanting to like step out, so I'm going to step out a little bit, but yeah, not too much, just a little bit. I feel like when I see them do this on like the Peelies makeup videos, they do it with like a flat brush, it works better for me to just do a beauty blender I feel like I don't got the technique down yet but I'll just put like on a lot and then I'll use like a beauty blender to blend especially if I'm using it as an eyeshadow base I'll just put on a lot and then do that okay oh my gosh I couldn't find my my primer since I'm not putting a lot I do need I really need a primer because I need it to stick since I'm not putting a lot of makeup on anyways so I kind of mm, something feels off about this brow. I feel like. Mm. I brought that a little bit closer than what I wanted, but it's okay. I feel like when I'm doing like less makeup, that's when it gets stressful because you can really, <laughs> it takes more effort. Yeah, I brought that a little further, but it's okay. Because when everything is said and done, it's going to be alright. Because, you know, when you're, like, trying to, like, enhance, it's, it's a little more patience. I'm going to be using this Patrick Ta Cream Foundation. I'm going to be using it as a bronzer, though. What is on my brush? Yeah, I'm going to be using it as a bronzer. Essentially, even though I'm pretty sure this is my skin tone. But like I said, we're not doing a lot today. We're just trying to look more than usual. Okay. And like I feel like my go-to when I'm doing it doesn't matter if I'm doing a lot or a little I still love the coverage in the center of my face filter effect by Morphe this is rich 30 
Is this the one that's empty? E. That's creepy. I'm about to use it up. Where's my favorite blending one Br brush? And because I'm using like the last bit and this is like super dry. Again, usually I would just let it sit if I was doing like regular me makeup. I would just let it sit in the middle. But because I don't really want as much coverage today, I'm just blending it all out together all at once. Oh, dang, I was about to, I was about to say this brush because I've been using it so much that I was about to say what it is. It's like the Morphe face set one. I'm going to leave it in the description box. Down below, I'm going to look up the name and leave it. It comes in like a set of face brushes. And I love it and I love the, um... What's it called? The other one, too. Um, yeah. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna use today since... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was looking for this, actually. I'm gonna really enhance the gradient in my bronzer. This is Pacifica Bronzer in Glow. Which is perfect. I also love this brush, which comes in the same set as the other one. No creasing, hopefully. Press powder first today. I think I'm also gonna my brown, so it'll like still have brightness, but I'll like tone it down a little bit. Yes, perfect. Oh, and then let me cut up. Let me cut my jawline a little bit too to enhance that bronzer okay okay I thought 
even though I'm going to need that powder in a little bit. Um, and then just going in with powder bronzer. I guess I'm trying to give like fresh face ish. It's not natural makeup, but it's like tonal essentially. I guess tonal makeup. I'm debating if I want to do like um some type of like eyeshadow like a neutral eye look again because I don't be going out like that so I toned down the base so maybe you know what we're just we're just gonna do it we're just gonna do it we're just gonna do it okay I'm just gonna use my bronzer and start building up some some motion in the ocean Okay. I'm like, I was like, where did I put the eyeshadow that I wanted to use? Okay, I feel like I'm just gonna use the same brush because it's, it's, it works. I feel like this look will work better if it's messy, if that makes sense. Because it's like, it's just using like shadow and highlight. Well, like a bronzer and like a highlight color, you know? And then maybe I'll do like a little sparkle. But yeah, I feel like using the same brush just helps everything blend together really well. And I'm not sure if I'm going to need tricky part I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a uh, let me just use it I want to do like a should I do maybe I'll do a brown smudgy I was gonna do black but that might be a little bit too harsh so I'll do brown like a like a wing actually I might just do black honestly <laughs> I can't I'm Zerima yeah we'll just do a little bit of black I'm doing it messily because I'm going to blend it out anyways, so. And the black will be really good for the contrast of the, um, sparkle that I'm going to put on. So, that works out. I'm using the same blush, I mean the same brush that has the brown to just like blend out the black a little bit. Well, I feel like that was like a lot of bit of blending, but you know. <sighs> I feel like I want, I want a little bit more. A little bit more of the black. Even though I feel like this is enough for the look that I was going for, 
but again, I'm me, so. Oh wow, that ended up going like on my under eye. That's, that's great. Oh, that actually is really cool. See what happens when you just you just give in and you just paint? It's just magical. Magical. And then I'm gonna oh is that like really We're gonna clean that up later, like momentarily. Okay, and a little bit more of that lid color, just to bring it back. And then I want like sparkle in between like the lid color and the, the like depth. Yes. Yeah, like right there. But I don't want it like on the lid. I just want it on the outer corner. Kind of like do another wing with the with the eyeshadow. Yeah, that's cute. That's really cute. Okay, let's get rid of this. Hopefully, the face powder. Powder attracts powder. Hopefully, and I still gotta bake, so I should be alright. But. What am I gonna bake with? Mm. Actually, I'm not gonna bake. I'm just gonna set, but. I should have did this before so that I wouldn't have to deal with this. <sighs> but it's okay, it'll, it'll be alright. Oh, I need to do my lashes. Oh, wait. I feel like this is not high enough. This glitter part. Come on. Now, where did I put the glitter? Okay, let's say. Now, where did I put the glitter? It's not, it's like the shimmer. Not really glitter, but... Yeah. Cool. I think I'm gonna just like concentrate it on the outer lashes so that I like enhance the falsies more at the outer corner. Or that's what I'm hoping will happen. But I'm not putting falsies at the bottom, but I want to enhance the outer part of my eye. And 
Oh my gosh. Um, the lashes. Okay, so I put my lashes on. I didn't do that on camera because I was like blending them and stuff. And I used shorty. I was gonna say failed because that's what I've been rocking, but I used shorty from Plushy Lash and I'll leave my discount code down below. That's so cool to say. I leave, I'll leave my discount code down below. Okay, so I blended my lashes. I like to curl my lashes before I put them on my face, um, just for a better fit. I feel like I'm not really gonna be able to get this completely on, but it's okay. We'll like go in with other stuff so it won't be like terribly noticeable. But yeah, I blend my lashes with um by curling them and then I go and I like literally use mascara to like basically paste my lashes on because I want them like really blended. Really blended. It really is. So that's what I do. Um, because it's fall, I feel like I'm gonna use this purple blush because I don't really reach for it a lot. So I've been loving the two finger. Oh, actually, maybe the blush will help, like, disguise. And I'm taking my blush a little bit higher today. Uh, it'll help disguise the under eye faux pas. I'm about to bathe in this in the fall which is right now but like yeah with the two finger rule oh my gosh this is the Lorac Lorac in ultraviolet yo I feel like I'm like loving this but this is probably like a lot for like what I was trying to achieve but again I'm me so it's gonna peek through no matter what <laughs> And then I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't want to fill in my brows. Mm. Oh my gosh. And if I put like the highlight right there. Oh my gosh. It's about to eat. I don't want to fill in my brows. I really don't. Oh, I was like, where is my, yo, the contrast? Ooh. I'm gonna do, a... oh my gosh. I feel like some.